all across Bricksville, the city is in absolute chaos. Airplane crashes are up 500%, and as such, the marshals are all working overtime. At all hours of the day and night, planes have been crashing into one another, causing monstrous explosions. With the parts raining down overhead, and all of the passengers beginning to become too afraid to fly, the marshals have their work cut out for them. But something even more sinister is going on, despite all of the plane explosions and crashing. What do you say we go for a Vodka Zero after work? That sounds great. Since all of these plane crashes, we are working all the time. There's no one left to guard the prisoners back here at the headquarters. I'm exhausted. And thus it brings us back to the Brick Riggs Police Department, where Senior Detective Bob Brixton is currently going over all the information that you helped him obtain about this case. Hey guys, Bob Brixton. So uh, I can't contain myself. I'm just so juvenile, or jovial. Jovial, that's what it is. I almost said juvenile. But anyway, very jovial expression on my face today because I've put something together with all the help from your guys' comments. You guys had found the three Easter eggs too. The Water Zero guy, which was in the back of the um, the dump truck. The Maid Bobatina, which was over in the Marshall's prison area. And then also the bed that was behind the ambulance over in the crash site. But the fact that you guys found Bobatina made me think about something. If you remember, the Marshall had mentioned that his girlfriend was a house cleaner. And you guys had mentioned that Bobatina was also a maid and house cleaner. So it got me to thinking, does Bobatina and the Marshal have something to do together? It, it, it just feels like somehow they're connected, and I think that we should go check them out. All right, first things first. Oh, and remember everyone, not sponsored by Vodka Zero, but it does have negative calories. So feel free to drunk, drink as much of it as you like. The first thing that we're gonna have to do is go over to the Marshal's area. Because I want to talk with that Marshal Bob one more time, just to see if I can get any additional information about exactly who his girlfriend is. Because if we find out who the girlfriend is, we're going to find out what's going... Oh no. What happened to the Marshal's office? It's like this is worse than a Water Zero explosion over at the precinct. Oh no! Look at this! It's Marshal Bob. It's what's left of Marshal Bob. His legs! Marshal Bob, are you okay? Your legs are gone, man. Detective Brixton, an unknown assailant shot our Water Zero tank causing it to explode. The explosion destroyed the jail cell bars. I think Bob or Tina got free. I don't think I'm going to make it. Tell my wife I forgot to do the dishes. The cell bars? Oh, that's right. We had transferred Bob or Tina over here to the Marshal's area because uh, she was awaiting being transferred for special federal brick court due to all of her crimes and it looks like all the cells have been blown up just the the force of the impact seems to have damaged the entire front of the marshal area so if Bobatina got freed wait a minute it's all starting to make sense now the one marshal bob that we questioned before had a girlfriend that was a house cleaner and he never went on that plane now, he had said that she was on that plane, but he could have been lying. I think that we may have our suspect. Detective Brixton, I think you're right. The suspect Marshal Bob, you know, hasn't shown up for work for the last couple of days since the original crashes. I think he may have been causing the crashes in order to have all of the marshals assigned to planes and made us remain with less marshals left to guard it. Okay, this is bad. They could be anywhere in the city right now. I think we're going to have to head over to the Marshal's apartment in order to maybe check around and look for clues. I'm going to have to get with the Chief, too. Maybe he can help out with this. Uh, Chief! Chief, it's Brixton. Yeah, Brixton, what, what, what's going on? What do you got for me over there? It's bad. It's bad, Chief. Uh, 
I believe Marshall Bob was aiding in the destruction of the planes and possibly even blew up the Marshall station over here. Brixton, it doesn't make any sense. Why would he do such a thing? I think his girlfriend was Bob Atena, the one that we sentenced to like 45 life's imprisonment in Brick's penitentiary. I think it's a romance thing. I think that by blowing up the planes, he was making it so that no one was going to be left to guard the Marshall Station. He blew up the front area and then took her out. All right, Brixton, that does make sense. All right, head over to that apartment. And I'm going to pull some strings and see if I can give you some help so we can find out where this scumbag may have went to. All right, so there we go. The Marshall's house is on the other side of town. So let's head over there and see what we can find. And then I don't know who the chief's calling, but I just hope that they have the resources that we're going to need to find out where this guy could have went. There's buildings and stuff everywhere inside of Bricksville. Oh, Brixton, I thought I'd let you know. That other marshal, the legless one, he's going to be all right. I called an ambulance for him. They're taking him over to the, the Bricksville hospital. Wait, chief. The hospital on the other side of the tracks? Yeah, yeah, it's the one on the other side of the tracks. It's the only hospital we got, man. It's what? Why? What's wrong with that? Chief, is there any way we could get a hospital on this side of the train tracks, please? Great. Legless Marshall Bob is as good as dead. I don't think that Legless Bob is ever going to make it. So right over here, this is the Marshall's house. Wow, this is a fantastic house. Like, what is the pay for a Marshall? Because this thing looks fantastic. All right, it's no time to be impressed with his house. Guns out. We need to go in and figure out exactly where him and potentially Bobatina went. Looks like there's a, a really good garage here, but there's no cars inside. Yeah, look at all these spare tires and gasoline and... I don't know, extra exhaust pipes and stuff like that. Where's the front door to this place? That was like an upstairs over here. Let's see. Marshall Bob doesn't appear to be here. A little kitchen area. There's nothing abnormal here. I guess we can continue to go upstairs and see if there's anything. What is this? What does this say? YouTubers destroy city. After 10 days of peace and no destruction, some YouTubers came back to destroy us. Other titles, dislikes don't stop, new faces for Bob, and is the mayor of Bricksville corrupt? What does it all mean? Who is the dirty scumbag piece of garbage that keeps destroying our glorious Bricksville? Hey guys, it's that dirty scumbag Greg. So, yes, like Bob Brixton said, you guys got the last three of the Easter eggs. Now remember, there's three more in this one, so try and keep your eyes out, because a lot of times, they're right in front of you, and sometimes you could miss them. Also, Brixton, you you freaking moron, keep going up the stairs, like higher, jack wagon. I feel like I should keep going higher up the stairs. I don't know what it is. Call it a police officer's intuition. Let's keep going up here. Wow, look at this. There's a whole big area, and what does that say? A Brikini brochure. This must be it. They're probably attempting to get on a boat and head over to Brikiti, which is quite nice this time of year. Chief! Chief, this is Bob Brixton. Yeah, Brixton, what's going on? Listen, I'm over at the Marshal's house. He's got a Brikiti brochure. I think that they're planning on going over to the harbor and heading on out of here. All right, Brixton, we'll get the harbor closed off. Also, that, uh, that favor I called in is coming through right now. And while we're at it, wipe that friggin' smirk off your face. How, uh, how do you know about the smirk? I'm a chief, Brixton. I've been doing this for a long time. I can feel it. Through the radio. Chief out. Brixton is the chief. Listen, we got good news. We found out what the marshal's driving. The bad news is, it's a Dodge Demon. But don't worry, we're gonna close down half the city. How, how are you gonna close down half of the city on such short notice? Well, we're gonna do it the YouTube method. Plenty of bombs, Brixton. Plenty of bombs. YouTuber methods? Really, Chief, have we fallen this far? What is that sound?
Uh, Chief. Yeah, I just saw the Dodge Demon. It did like a 35 barrel rolls as it went past me at 200 miles an hour. How am I supposed to catch this thing? Don't worry, Brixton. I told you. I got my buddy over at the Brick Go Construction Center to help out. They're gonna be blocking off traffic and stuff like that. Apparently, the last destruction on that orphanage really pissed them off. All you have to do, Brixton, is chase that demon over to the brand new construction site for the orphanage Mark II. They're gonna handle the rest. Leave it to the Brickco company to stop that demon. All right, Chief, I mean, I got my lights on. I'm, I'm behind this thing, but it is way far ahead. Like, I'm nowhere near it. It's probably a good mile ahead of me. We're heading toward the construction site now, so whoever you got over there, let them know we're about to be in their, in their area in like 10 seconds. All right, it's flying down the roadway, Chief. It's gonna be there in like two seconds. That was a direct hit, Chief! The logs took the took the demon right out, ripped the roof right off! Oh, I uh I think what's left of it is going to land on the train tracks. Well done, team. Well done. That'll teach him to mess with the orphans. Anyway, uh, everyone back to work. We got a schedule to keep. And look at all this carnage. Oh, oh, there's the Brick Co. guys over there. Those guys are gonna have to get a, uh, a special award from the chief for what they did. The train claims another life. There you go, you two. I hope you, I hope you both understand now why crime doesn't pay. If it's not us, then it's Bricksville coming together to help take down dirty scumbags like you. I didn't mean to cause so much trouble, but I didn't want to be away from Bobatina. I want us to be together forever. I regret nothing. I did it in the name of love. I hope your commenters choke on their Cheerios. Oh, you want to be together forever, do you? Well, you're going to be together forever in the Brick Rigs Penitentiary, suckers. And I, I guess, I guess you can, you can keep, I don't know, cleaning that toilet or whatever. Well, we did it. Bobatina and Marshall Bob are both in matching cells behind bars, which means that the uh, skies of Bricksville are finally safe once more. Could have done it without you guys. Did you find all three of the new Easter eggs in the episode? Make sure to let me know in the comments section below. Did you also guess correctly on who was the person who ended up sabotaging the plane? Let me know about that as well as well as what your thoughts were on what it could have been. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brops. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>